Rightio, do the grooves. We're going to do a load of washing today in my trailer. I'm going to show you the 2.5 kilo washing machine that I've got. Um, it, I like it at the moment, but there's a few things they don't tell you. For one thing, it actually uses 60 litres of water, uh, 20 litres to wash, 20 litres to rinse, 20 litres to spin. So it uses 60 litres per normal wash. Now, if you hooked up the town water, who cares, man, let it go. But if you're saving water and everything else, I've found out a way of doing two loads with 20 litres. Um, it's a bit of a stuff around, but mate, when you're out in the back like this, as you can see, there's not much water around here. It's hard. You've got to say to drop of water you can. So I'm going to show you today how to use uh, a 2.5 kilo washing machine and only use 20 litres of water per two washes. Eh? Two washes, not just one, two. So here we go. 2.5 uh, washing machine. Not too bad. Got it for a good price. Uh, the price and where you can buy it is at Um uh, Right, I'm still a bit scabby. I've still left the plastic on, as you can tell. Ah, you know, it is what it is. It looks like brand new still. Um, so, look, I've made a device up. You can, this thing here is actually for the, the main tap. So, what you can do, believe it or not, these things fit straight in there. I'll give you a quick look at that. There you go. It's just a hose fitting, that's all it is. And it fits in there pretty good, like I'm pretty impressed how it goes in there. And then that screws on top and you plug that into the hose. I wouldn't turn the hose full on, just turn it on a little bit so it, you know, just comes through a little bit. Because if you don't want to, you know, you don't want to stuff your solenoid in here, because that's how the, hot, the water works. The machine has a leveler, comes up to the right level, tells the solenoid to turn off, boom, turns the water off. Pretty easy. Now, I've also made this other device up that I can siphon water you can buy them on eBay, you can buy them from the same camp shop, so they're just a high flow pump. It pumps 13 litres per minute, so it does pump a lot of water. Um, I've just got it rigged up to a tap to put in here if I'm out in a bush. But today I'm not going to be using that, I'm just going to be using... Um, I'm just going to use the 20 litre jerry can that you've seen down the bottom before. I'm going to pour it in, and while I'm pouring it in, the machine's turned on. So as soon as it reaches its level, clicks and goes on straight away and it works and we'll, we'll be washing on a low cycle today which is only 15 litres and the rest of the 5 litres I want you to put in a bucket which I've got my washing in at the moment. So this device that I'm using at the moment to put my washing in to show you the bucket that actually goes in there um, to stop the tub from smashing around in travel that's all it really is for and you could probably use to do stuff, drain wet, wet stuff, keep it in there as a bucket, a peg bucket, whatever. But today, we're not going to do that. Whites. Ugh. When you go camping, me seriously, don't bring whites. It's a pain in the. It's a pain in the bottom. So, this is the container I'm actually using. It's just a. It's actually a ten liter storage container and I just fill it up halfway and that's what I'm going to use to rinse my clothes out instead of using the 20 litres use the 5 litres, just rinse it soak it, rinse it ring it, put it back in, I'll show you as I do it anyway, for starters you must have power in your shed big battery solar panel unit 2000 uh, watt to 4000 peak now you can get a smaller one than that, doesn't matter I've just gone overkill just in case I need to use it um but that's all joined up to power over here, it's all connected. Believe it or not, while, when this is running, of course you know what motors are like. Uh, motors take a lot of um, amperage. This actually takes 10 amps to run while it's doing it because I've been watching it on, on my solar. Right, when you're actually loading this man, serious, don't think it can take heaps, it can't. Look, let's have a look what we've got. We've got a t-shirt here. Um, we'll stick t-shirts in because it's average. Extra large, by the way, because I am big. Look at the big straw. Nah, fat. <laughs> anyway, two t-shirts. Um, so far, uh, we've got a pair of undies, a pair of socks, different coloured. I'll get another pair of undies. Another pair of undies. 
and what's left is a t-shirt and a pair of shorts now all right well i've got that if i've got only that much left i might as well sort of even it's the loads anyway so all right then for um t-shirt now the shorts they always take up heaps of space in there man seriously and these socks are you can keep chucking them in right uh, um i'm going to pour some water into this bucket right now just enough i think that's five liters what I've done is poured five litres into that one. So I'm going to turn my inverter on now. And I'm also going to turn my solar panel on. Because why use the battery? Might as well convert the sun straight to the power. At the moment I'm getting 10 amps in here. So eventually that's going to be sucked up because of this thing. So let's turn it on. Can we turn it on? Actually, I've got to turn the power on first, haven't I? All right, let's turn it on. Makes a funny noise. Oh no. Now we're only gonna select wash. See how it's just got the wash? I know it's flashing on the camera, but it doesn't flash normally. Now we pick low, and it's for 14 minutes. That should be plenty. So I'll start filling it up with water until it starts. And then whatever's left, pour it in the other bucket. Just fill it up slow because it'll kick off pretty soon. There it goes. Now I've still got probably close to two litres left. So what I'll do is I'll pour that into the bucket, which I'm near enough full at the moment. Let's pour a little bit more back in there. Use the full 20 litres. So I still had really a little bit left over if you really think about it. So another 600 mils. Now while that's going, pour this stuff in now I only use say three quarters full I use the liquid stuff I don't right up like I said after you finish with it put the lid back on put it down away close the lid done now before we totally done get your jerry can because look if they're very filthy clothes yeah you will have to use another load of fresh water but what I do is I put the waste in back into the air can which is empty like like this a couple of minutes to go and we'll see how it is and I'll show you the process of taking that out once it's spin because we're going to do a spin after it's washed to get all the water out to get that water into that jerry can again then we're going to rinse it stick it back in do another spin put it back in there and then pour that water back in for the last wash pretty easy the water's not that dirty that's how if they're really really dirty like i said use a fresh load it, it, you're going to use a bit but if they're not that dirty you just need if you feel undies here and there mate don't worry about it it's good enough good enough right oh dirty groovies it is finished um it does make an annoying noise it, no, it tells you when it's finished <laughs> you just off right out. it's done now we're going to spin that i'm looking at the water yeah i can get two washes out of that for sure so let's use the spin which is pretty easy to do you do it like this so let's turn it back on and then go down to the spin cycle seven minutes that's it done and as you can tell you push start it'll drain the water out down through here into as you can see it's moving now that's draining into the jerry can for that next wash so while that's draining out it doesn't take that long it takes a couple minutes and it spins for seven minutes look you don't even have to spin it for seven minutes i don't i'll wait till there's like three minutes left mate there's not much water coming out of it anyway after that and then just rinse it and then do it again rinse and spin it again so it's not a biggie if you want to you know stop it before your cycle goes Right, oh, and you must have the lid shut while you're doing it. There is a safety mechanism built into this machine, so if you open it, it explodes. Yeah, it, it blows the world up. No, 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 it just, it, an error comes up. <laughs> Look, trust me, when I first did it, I went, well, what's it going in there for? Uh, read the manual. Yeah, it tells you all about it. So, yeah, look, I didn't until I looked at the code and looked at the code number, and then looked at the book and it said, door open. I went, Oh. So yeah, it's doing its thing now. It's pumping, pumping, fully pumping, pumping. Righto, 
when you've got like four minutes to go run the hose just down on, on the ground look there's not much coming out now so I'm I'm going to stop it right now and do the rinse cycle so there you go push it pause it'll do its little breaky thing lift it out turn it off while you're there take that rinse it out of that stuff and then rinse it again well not rinse it squeeze it and then put it back in done all right rinse it out don't have to rinse it out that much now before you start make sure your load's balanced because if not it's just going to go thun, 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 so let's just spread them all out either side a la peanut butter sandwiches push your start all right go to your spin cycle leave your hose on the ground because you're not going to use that water anymore that's history so start it it's going to pump for a while it's going to know it's not going to have any water in it and it goes click like that does another little click because the level goes hmm there's no water coming through let's do the spin and it's spinning already now with the spin look it's up to you i like just holding it yeah you can let go it's beautiful still but ah you know you never know all right, that's going to go for five minutes. I'm looking at the hose at the moment. I might just coming out. Oh, it's all black. No, nah, no, Jack. It's nice and clear water, actually. I'll give you a look at it. Have a look. Spinning, 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 spinning. All right, look. I can't see the point of wasting all that power. You're still using it. They're still using 12 mate seriously these, these motors as anyone knows or if you don't know um motors take a lot of power it's moving you know what i mean where lights are different you know lights are just now i haven't got i've got a trickle of water coming out of there look three minutes while we're talking i'm gonna push the button here we go oh my god nah it's all good it still works take it out feel it oh, look at that dry I can wear it straight away Bizarre. All right. but I'm just letting you know with this thing when you do use it like I said if you're on town water that's fine right 20 liters to wash 20 liters to rinse and then another 20 liters I was gonna go like that but I won't 20 liters one of the two fingers 20 liters to do the spin so all together 60 liters man do one load of wash and there's not much clothes in there nah man there must be a better way Look, I will find a probably better way of rinsing this stuff, but at the moment, I just, yeah, I know it's the best way I can come up with so far. Now, we do the same thing what we did before. Get our clothes, chug it in. Look, there's not much now, that's it. But those pants, you'll find out, take up a lot. So, like I said, get your water, pour it in here again, which will be a lot lighter now because of, it's only got 15 litres in it. And with the soap suds, I wouldn't put too much in this one because it's already got soap suds in it. Right, now, when you get to, you think, pretty close, look, you probably have to top it up with your rinse water, and that's pretty clean anyway. So let's turn it off, turn it back on. Makes a funny noise, whatever. Let's go just to wash again. All right, low, and press start, and just pour this in. So now with the soap, half as much because it's already got soap in the water. Seriously, you don't want to soap it all up. Now I'm only doing a half, half cup. <clears throat> Pour it around, you know, do the old swivel trick. Now, what you saw me just do, I don't tell people to do that because if you're not right and if you don't get your hand in their right place, It'll twist it and you can snap your arm right off. You'll have no arm. Like this. Or if it were like this. Oh, my arm's getting washed. No, just kidding. Let me put it back. Boom. It's back. Yeah, look at my other videos. There's some helpful hints with um, your caravan and doing other little things like that. Um, so if you do like it, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. That's for Kylie, by the way. Subscribe notifications just to get the new episodes that I do put on to help you guys out little tricks and tips that I find to make house camping better
Thank you.